Well, good afternoon, everyone. Russ Clark here with the Arthur Murray Dance Schools, member of the National Dance Board from Seattle, Washington. Today, what I'd like to do is uh, share with you guys an exercise that hopefully you can use, whether it's in your foxtrot or your swing or other dances, to learn how to maintain control and recover control. One of my coaches years and years ago told me there's a good chance while you dance, you're going to lose your balance. So the real secret isn't always staying in balance, but it's recovering your balance. So what we found is our goal in dancing is to keep our weight just like a good tight core a little bit more towards the center. So if we were standing here and we just kind of squeezed everything together, we'd feel our weight pull to the center of our body. So if we felt where that weight was over our feet, we tend to find it's on the more of the inside center of the feet than the center or totally outside. So our goal while we're dancing and we're moving in foxtrot, whether it be forward or backward, is to always feel that weight roll through that inside center of our feet, whether we're going forwards or backwards. Whenever we tend to notice our balance uh, wavering, it's because our weight's rolling from the center inside to possibly the center outside or outside. And that's where we tend to find where our most problems in our, down, our dancing come balance-wise. So the exercise I was originally taught years and years ago, it's handed down from Bill and Bobby Irvine, was the ability to take our weight in our feet and take the weight from center weight to outside weight, back to center weight and inside weight. And having that ability to control that through how we use the muscles through the insides of the thighs and the knees. The exercise that they worked with us on was simply this, is to take the weight, okay, roll it from the center of the feet, roll it to the inside of the feet, and then raise up onto our toes. From there, roll the weight to the center of the feet, to the outside of the feet, and then roll down. Now that's gonna feel a little awkward because we're on the outside, which is where we'd not want to be, but the goal is using these muscles now to pull it back to the center, to the inside, and then go up again like this, so that while we're dancing, we'll have that ability to control and pull it back whenever we feel it go outside. And then we wanna do the exercise reverse, going up and down and center and the whole time controlling the weight as we go through that. So a good example would be if we're dancing a twinkle and we're a man, is as we're stepping forward, many times when we take that second step, our weight in this foot, instead of staying inside center, tends to roll outside. So our goal now is to be able to control the weight and pull it back to the center, our inside, so then we can dance out into the promenade. Or the same for the woman when she's walking backwards. If she's stepping backwards here and she feels her weight going to the outside to be able to control it back to the center or inside center by using the muscles of the inside of the thighs and the knees. So therefore we're back in alignment and staying balanced throughout our dance. So I think you'll find this a really helpful exercise. I hope you find a chance to work on it, practice it on a regular basis and then put it into your dancing. So thank you for listening. Have a great time with your dancing. We look forward to seeing you on the dance floor.